Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys, and we invite you guys to come over and experience things with us over on our Patreon. Again, you can hit that little black bar there where it says join for free, or you could actually become a Patreon and help support the channel in these times of, uh, well, <laughs> demonization, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, as EE Arts is, is getting hammered as we speak. And uh, they went through, and I don't know how deep it goes back, but they just basically uh, demonetized at least, I would say, 50 to 60 percent, if not more, of the videos. Uh, and again, I don't know how far it goes back because w you get to see like 30 videos per page and it's just <clears throat> all the older ones too. They've, they've basically taken away the monetization. So they are hammering us hard over there. And, uh, obviously we've been posting more and more on Patreon, uh, where we do talk a lot freer. Um, and you know, again, we put every video up on Patreon, uh, some of those are Patreon exclusives where, again, you can join for the equivalent of less than three pennies uh, a day. And so what we got going on is a chaotic scene over here. This is at Scotiabank headquarters in Toronto. As you see, police units on site, staff evacuated as Palestinian protesters occupy the premises and uh, scream about genocide. As the world has been divided into these uh, camps, this polarization, and you know, if you wondered how are they gonna do it, you knew they always were gonna do it at some point in time. Well, now we see how they actually manifest it. And as we've said, when you interestingly enough look at the uh, new birth chart of Israel with its uh, 1948 reintegration back into the global maps it's all about being a thorn in the side it's it's creation the timing of its creation is is all about creating uh dissension anger chaos and you know it's it's completely premeditated the timing and all this this is where the big reveal is coming how the controllers work and and there's different layers to understanding of how the controllers work you know it is it really is the, the dark side of everything coming out into the open and more and more people are seeing it and they want to do their part now when they do their part whether they know they're operating on a fully awakened um mind well that's that's something that everyone has to walk through but everyone feels called to do something and i really suggest to people look inside what do you feel called to do and act on that and do that thing that your soul wants you to do because we all have a path and our path is uh very very important that we walk it the way we need to so this is in uh, Madrid and Spain, and, and this tweet from Concerned Citizens says uh, the protest there is about the socialist government, despite not winning the recent election, invoking clauses to allow them to remain in power. You know, uh, again, just another example of the few controlled radical left government. And of course, you know, as many people know, uh, the left and the right are two sides of the same bird that's always being manipulated. It's moving beyond this political structure. It's moving beyond, beyond all the organization uh, and all the control grid, which we see on the planet that will bring about some real change. People are questioning a lot of things, as you see uh, this American soldier holding a red flag. And the question is, why is an American soldier holding a red flag? It's interesting that, you know, I couldn't see whether this does have the stars on it or not of, of China. But the reality is a lot of people caught the energy of, again, Biden and Jing. And in fact, here you see angry Americans are ripping down those uh, flags in San Francisco after Xi's arrival and chaos going on and fighting. So, you know, we have the split between uh, Israel and Palestine, the Israelis, the Palestinians, the Zionists, etc., as you have within, um, I guess you would say, the greater uh, Israeli and uh, Jewish society. 
uh, you do have dissension there because there are people that are protesting Netanyahu. You know, Netanyahu barely hung on to power as there were so many people out in the streets uh, before the war happened. Then when the war happens, of course, you know, everybody's ducking rockets and just trying to stay alive. And many are catching on to the fact that, you know, this is exactly how the system works. It covers its tracks all the time by creating more chaos. And here you have at one point, <laughs> Secretary of State Blinken almost looked like he's going to erupt crying because he knows he's going to have to, well, this is what they're portraying. Uh, he knows he's going to have to do some splaining, uh, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> After Biden makes uh, con it, well, one of the Biden clones, puppets, Muppets, meat puppets, yeah, makes comments referring to Xi as a dictator, you know. And then afterwards, I'm sure they all get together and back. Somebody pulls up the mask off. Another clone steps out. They're all laughing, slapping each other on the shoulders, saying, do you think we sold that pretty good or what? And they're all going off and drinking and doing whatever they do. Or drinking whatever they drink because don't forget prince charles is related to the true uh <laughs> dracula and and here you know this is one it looks like he's he's fallen asleep he needs his nighty nights he needs to take a nap right now the next one looks <clears throat> just i mean what can, what can you say yeah, I, I mean, he looks like a hound dog right there, and he lost his bone or something. I'm poor guy made a accident in his pants. I don't know. I don't know. Is is the mask falling off too? Is it drooping? Is it what's going on here? Because the differences are very apparent, and you know, again, it it's and and. It's all part of the great reveal, but the great reveal that will be revealed won't be the full truth. Again, there, there's always distortion. And meanwhile, multiple sources talking about this uh, Chinese warship that injured naval divers using their sonar. So if you've ever wondered if amplified sonar used as a, <clears throat> a weapon could you know, definitely kill sea life, including dolphins and and whales and cause them to act uh, erratically and beach themselves um yeah you shouldn't really have any doubts anymore because this is exactly what happened to a couple of divers uh from australia as the chinese ship came close and turned on amplified its uh, <clears throat> sonar off the japanese coast and the divers uh did start to feel ill and were getting sick and it was a dangerous thing so obviously when we see massive strandings of whales, it doesn't always have to be this, but absolutely, some of it is technological. NATO state, now this is Estonia, they're putting in anti-tank obstacles that tells you what they expect as Estonia and, and Lithuania, you know, the Baltic nations uh, and Latvia, you know, they will be probably steamrolled yet again when the war gets going full full blast. And it might only be a day or two, you know, as far as losing uh, their quote unquote NATO sovereignty. So th these are anti-tank obstacles that are being put in place right now. It's clear. It's just a matter of when they want to trigger it again. And then you have this in here, which, again, I, it feels like the art of war to me. Um, we have Xi Jinping attending APEC in San Francisco. The family trust of Chinese billionaire Jack Ma was selling 10 million shares of Alibaba for approximately 871 million. This is highly unusual and, and significant because it indicates, indicates to key insiders that China lacks confidence in the Chinese economy. And this is what they are uh, telegraphing and again you know it's it's well known that when things get really bad economically often war is the only option because war is always a big money maker and it also is the biggest distraction in the world when people are all of a sudden concerned about dodging bullets and rockets and who knows what other technology uh, that they will be using in in these days now, here you have Jerome Brooks, found dead days after audio was leaked of Sheila Jackson Lee berating him. He was a staffer, and uh, it was called some derogatory things. Well, you know, the, the vibe is, what did he know about her? 
as again when you look down a little bit farther what did how many people 40 50 100 uh, more know about her and her husband that all of a sudden decided to leave the world in one way shape form or another as you know when she got that phone call from Benghazi it really showed her uh, a true vibe to maybe some people that were still under the illusion that these are nice folks because these are not nice folks not at all and so you know what was the dirt because what was the dirt that he had on her probably related to uh, some of the same stuff that we hear rumors of all over the place now these people in the highest positions yeah there's dirt on them and the system can get rid of them anytime it wants to um, but it will also defend its own to avoid exposing the system mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh definitely i mean this was something that that i picked up the energy and just exactly as mike said you know these <clears throat> Elites have been accused of doing a lot of things and he was one that was a little too unstable to allow him to be out there because he might actually speak it and have proof about it. Yeah, so this is very much just like with the uh, with the Obama chef situation. This is the same situation. Um, you know, you, you discover too much. You might spill too many beans. And you're no longer in the 3D, you're on the other side. And Stacey Abrams' brother-in-law arrested for human trafficking. Y yeah, you know, again, when it gets down to it, we're going to find out and it's going to be revealed. It's going to be out there in the open that, that there's nothing more corrupted than the political system. The political system is loaded with the biggest thieves, liars, and cheats. And this is not just in the U.S., although they will portray probably the U.S. as being the worst of the worst. Because, again, the power structure is shifting. It's no longer going to be the U.S. and NATO as far as that outward illusion. But as far as the real reality, um, you know, as much as they're going to sell that, don't worry, White House are taking control of the situation. <clears throat> yeah, if we trust them to take control of the situation, that's just insanity. And Elon, you know, is designated to survive this. I, 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 I am, I just feel that, again, he's being set up to be in a much more powerful position after all the chaos, after the war stops, after the reintegration into society. Um, and I'm thinking that we'll do a, a video either on Patreon, probably on Patreon, uh, going into a little bit more of what we are seeing behind the scenes with all this. Because here you see, you know, this tweet, Stand with X to protect free speech. This week, Media Matters for America posted a story that completely misrepresented the real user experience on X in another attempt to undermine freedom of speech and misleading advertisers. So all these advertisers are leaving X Twitter, right? And again, X, that stands for Nibiru. This is, this is completely Anunnaki. This is completely draconian. And, and Elon uh, is, is truly, uh, in our humble opinion, going to be an intermediary for that time period where the real controllers start to show their faces and are portrayed to us uh, like Marvel Comics superheroes in so many ways. Uh, and, and then we know the reasoning for so many of these uh, Marvel uh, movies out there and how they integrate in with everything. Because everything is, is so intertwined. So what you have here is a, an apparent division between Elon, you know, the, the world's most powerfully influential person, and uh, richest man, again, the, I, I just keep thinking in terms of Batman, yeah, know. you know, I mean, you know, is it going to be revealed that he is Iron Man? <laughs> you know, I mean, hello, it's just so obvious what they're doing. So he's all about and his power is going to expand his positions going to expand after all the chaos because they're going to throw the aspect uh, that's been in power to the wolves. And again, whether it's you know Biden clone or actor number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it doesn't really matter. They could tell us anything. They told us Hitler died. 
you know, committed suicide. He didn't. You know, this is the same thing they'll give us for all these leaders. And it might be even, you know, some of the big names that we all know about that we all get nauseous over that they say, oh, well, they decided to, you know, leave the world. They couldn't handle it. You know, the spotlight was on them. They may all be partying off planet on or on somebody's island, you know, again. This is part of the big reveal. But, you know, here it's an apparent legal battle going on between the system and Elon fighting the system. Yeah, sure, sure. You know, see the bigger picture. See the bigger, and, and many people do. And then others um, don't. And, and right away now they're, they're trying to, again, prop up somebody else that they can say, ah, he is fighting uh, for us. This billionaire is fighting for us. Maybe not the last one, but this one's really fighting for us. No billionaires are fighting for you. They're billionaires because they've already agreed to be in the system and, and take part in all the chaos. And meanwhile, you have Starship, the world's most powerful rocket ever, successfully taken off from Boca Chica, Texas. As you see this massive rocket heading off into the sky. Uh, yeah, again, that's ancient technology. It's really kind of a joke. Uh-oh. Hey, is, me is that Mecha Godzilla? What's going on here? Well, standing at 120 meters, a fully stacked Starship is not only the world's most powerful launch vehicle, but also its ta tallest. So it is about one Mecha Godzilla in height. Mecha Godzilla. I mean, think about this. That's another AI reference. It's just all in our face. By the way, SpaceX says Starship's second stage may have experienced rapid unscheduled disassembly. That doesn't sound good. Uh oh, it exploded in the second test flight. Ah, uh, challenges, challenges. Now, again, you know, they might even portray this as being, well, there was sabotage going on by the system behind the scenes. This is how they work. Oh, oh, oh I got to talk on that one because that one's driving me nuts where people, people are, oh, the system's getting me, but they're as big as can be. They have plenty of income. I mean, they have anything and everything they need, and then they're sitting there saying oh you know so and so's picking on me and this is happening and oh the drama it goes on and on and on especially the ones that are planted in there you can usually tell you know you just have to look at the views what they're allowing people to see i mean when we looked at our videos we definitely do not have the mainstream popularity narrative in mind when we went through and saw that they flipped all of our all of our um uh, videos to uh, a not so nice um <laughs> sorry I'm at a loss of words this morning but yeah I mean they make sure that they're not going to make it easy for us to get the word out because we actually do see beyond the veil quite clearly and we know exactly what's going on we tell it how it is and they can't have that so they're going to do their best to try to leave the illusion up and say oh see we're letting them speak we're letting them talk we're not shutting them down at every corner they're allowed to get on a microphone, so it's the illusion that we have freedom of speech, but boy, they make it difficult to <clears throat> allow this information to come through to the masses, whereas, you know, thank goodness right now, at least because Patreon is part of the system, we are able to get a lot of the word out, which is, which is nice. So that's just where we're at. And yet we see all this moving forward. Uh, bank to phase out cash, check digital phone payments in 2024, move to digital only transactions. This is um, Macquarie Bank, Australia's fifth largest bank. So this is still on rolling. This hasn't slowed up at all. It, you know, in fact, it does feel like it's accelerating. And this is uh, talking about how in Australia, you know, you are going to have to go through uh, a social media security filter before you actually get on the Internet. Again, this is part of the integration uh, with uh, China, which is really integration with, again, that same philosophy that comes from the few. And we put the few up to a mirror. W E I. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's still rolling out. There, there's no slow down yet you know again you have people taking down the cameras uh they have people going and painting black paint over the camera lenses 
As we see in the UK, citizens had enough of money grabbing councils and, you know, again, checking cars for violations. And they have these all over Florida, too. And in fact, I think the only, um, I didn't get a speeding ticket, but I got a ticket for not coming to a full stop once in, in Florida. And uh, it was like this. You didn't even know anything ever happened. All of a sudden, it's just in the mail. And uh, it, it was something that I kind of argued. But, mm. but this is the way that it is, you know. And, and they're watching every, every little bit. It's, it's all about, you know, being ticks and leeches on society and controlling every aspect of our lives. So people are going to resist. And at some point, you know, you will have absolute utter slavery inside the cities that are under the control system still and then you're going to have people living freely that are basically bartering and trading with each other outside of society now go ahead sweet oh no i was just saying we got those ones uh going through texas too where they took our picture and oh well that was <laughs> that was for tolls you know again sometimes like when you pass through states so that wasn't a ticket but that was just um, you know, uh, toll, well, because yeah, it was something like where they, they don't even, uh, there's no toll gates, which save the money, but they just simply, uh, charge you the toll and send you a bill. Um, so, you know, we, we like to live way out. I, 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 I don't want to go near any city. Uh, and, and there are cities that I would still love to explore more like Nashville would be fun to go to. Austin is, you know, again, the the more interesting cities, but in these times, these are different times. So you want to avoid <clears throat> being in the middle of the chaos because they could trigger stuff at any time. And when you walk into these cities, you know, you're going to be exposed to all sorts of frequencies. And for those that are living in that soup of frequencies, uh, you, you're wondering, why do I feel tired? Why do I feel lethargic? Why are my allergies so bad? It's because you're bathed in toxins all the time. And even if you're fasting, you're still being penetrated by these frequencies that you really can't see. Uh, and here you go, non-GMO, USDA organic, coated with food-grade resins and or vegetable wax. And they make it sound nice. They make it sound nice. And yet we don't know what the long-term effects are on these things. No studies have been done. And, you know, this, this is, we've talked about uh, Gil Bates and, and what he's trying to do. Again, they'll say it's all about making your food last longer, but the reality is it's, it's going to cause a toxic overload in the system and bring on more and more cancers. So, you know, we're waking up to that fact. Certified organic. Yeah, sure. You know, uh, again, uh, I don't like buying any food in, in grocery stores, and, and that might sound crazy, but it is the reality. I don't trust any food in any grocery stores, I, I, and even with that, you got to source your local um, providers as well, but we do see a ton really waking up. They are waking up. This little guy, he's a sheltered puppy, and he's got a huge smile because he's been a doctor. Adopted. He's going to be getting love and affection. He's going to become a part of somebody's family. <clears throat> this is what we need to do as a society is, is stop allowing ourselves to be divided through politics and religion and, and all the things they'll use because all that division is just that. It's all about keeping us divided so the few can keep under control the many. Well, I really think for us to learn how to be more humane, we need to look to our pets. Because this little guy, when it comes to church services and different churches, he's going to be just as nice to one group of church people as he would be the other group of church people because he's just all about love and he didn't read up on the indoctrination. So this guy knows where it's at. If we just look to our pets and understand <laughs> that really they have it right, um, will will be a much better much better people for it you know and then there's always this factor that uh people going in to rescue a pup which is always really wonderful if they can do that um because there's so many out there that that don't have homes and they're just what's really sad and i notice this happening more and more is people are 
passing away from certain cures and they're leaving behind their well cared for loved ones their pets and then they end up in a shelter in these but that, that is nowhere it's like putting a, a really sweet nice human being in a really rough prison cell i mean the dogs just totally freak out and it, it's so sad because they've been taken care of not that any dog deserves to be in there but some it stresses them out more than others but this little guy he understands what's going on and we can learn a lot from him absolutely and and mind what you feed them we'll be talking about that in a in a in, in, another, video. in another video um yeah and also the things that are recommended for them uh are the same basic things they're recommending for us and 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 part of the huge plan that is in fact on this planet it does include making sure these guys um are subject to the same forces that we're subject to and it's really really uh not good yeah so again much love thanks for being part of this family and we do uh welcome any and all to come join us on patreon source bless namaste namaste